This video is the eighth in a series of 17 videos on the subject of appointing custody evaluators and the appointment of guardians ad litem, or GALs for short, in Utah child custody cases. You do not have to view all 17 videos to benefit from this series. Watch as many or as few as you wish. The purpose of this series is to make the case for the proposition that an interview by the judge is a faster, more accurate, more particular, more reliable, and less expensive form of evidence than what a GAL and or custody evaluator provides. I respectfully submit that claiming a child will know or feel a painful or harmful difference between an interview conducted by a judge as opposed to an interview conducted by a GAL and or custody evaluator is patently without merit. There is no independently verifiable proof for the claim that a judge interviewing a child on the subject of child custody issues inherently harms a child or exposes a child to a risk of harm. And when you think about it, the very idea that a judge talking to a child will cause the child some kind of unwarranted harm, if indeed any real harm at all, is silly on its face. If everyone agrees that the judge needs to know what the child is experiencing, observing, and feeling, what concerns the child and what the child's opinions and desires are with regard to child custody and similar issues, the idea that the best way to do this is through an interview by anyone but the judge is as absurd as it is counterproductive. Worse, to suggest that a guardian ad litem, who literally got a few hours of training in a hotel ballroom seminar and on YouTube, or a mental health professional, to spend thousands of dollars and take weeks of, and months, perhaps, to provide a milk toast report and recommendations is indefensible. Now look, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with hotel ballroom style seminars and YouTube training. Indeed, I'm stating just the opposite. The amount of training one gets to qualify as a GAL simply isn't so extensive or rigorous that GALs and only GALs can be said to be qualified to interview kids without traumatizing them. You may ask why custody evaluators analyses and recommendations are usually so vague and timid and not of very much use, especially not justifying their cost and time that you consume in, in conducting them. It's a fair and crucial question. It's out of fear of being reported to doppel or sued for, sued for malpractice by the parents against whom the evaluator may make adverse recommendations. Knowing this, it is impossible to justify why so many judges and lawyers are so resistant to a judge conducting the interview of the child directly and on the record.